What's up guys, this is Technocube and you are watching Mobile Computing Fundamentals. Well, in the previous session you had seen Mobile Computing Benefits, right? In this session you can understand Mobile Computing Architecture. It is known as Mobile Computing 3 tier Architecture. So let me again write down the basic things. So what we are going to do here in this session, we will understand Mobile Computing three tire architecture i don't know about the spelling but that's <laughs> i told you that's okay i don't care right <laughs> okay so this is mobile computing three tire architecture kya karenge ekdam se lehra denge okay so this is a three tire architecture you can see this is i had taken i don't know this website one.bp.blogspot.com and someone had used free uh, google blog okay this is blogspot.com and they have this three tire architecture you can see here in this diagram i have tire one here tire two here and there is this tire three okay so in tire one it is written as user interface and from the user interface that means it is a kind of presentation tire where exactly what happens it gives you an interaction to the user where he can feed or where he can put his input data right so i'm going to write here let me oh let me just save this thing again if i miss this then there will be a problem so i am going to write here mobile computing i didn't do that but okay mobile computing benefits okay now see okay where is my note, note yeah so mobile computing three tier architecture so the first tier is it is known as presentation tier it is also known as user interface also it is known as tire one let me write it down here tire one okay so what exactly is presentation tire and what it it says it says this application or this tire let me write it down application this application run on the client machine what it means it means in presentation tire whatever the application you are running it works or it runs on the client machine that means in client machine that means you you are using that okay client device or client machine and it offer and offer all the user interaction okay by means of user interaction it means let's say i have a browser here and when i put some url or when i put some you know a kind of a domain name www.facebook.com you are providing some input to this browser so that means your browser is the application which takes the user interaction or the user input so this is an example of presentation tire right so here this application run on the client machine and offer all the user interaction second thing it says let me just make a dash here i, I think i should use word but that's okay then we have this then we have this responsible it is responsible for it is responsible for presenting okay as, as you can see responsible for presenting the information information to end user which you requested which means what i mean to say is it is responsible whatever you put the input here just like www.facebook.com if i write here www.google.com you are putting some input here right you are putting some input and when i hit enter it will give you some output so you can see it is responsible presenting the information so it, it is showing you some information with, with which which you have requested for if you have requested for www.google.com it will present the google.com page here so this is an this is an example okay so it includes it includes your uh, like browser browser or some navigation or some navigation so or some navigation services kind of software or something like that okay then it also says the function performed the function performed by these these agents or services so the functions performed by these agents or services range ranges from a simple from a simple task to a bigger one to a bigger one 
something like this let me write it down here one the simple task or the bigger task is something like accessing accessing oh some other application accessing some other application via api which is which is application programming interface i think that's the thing i don't know api <laughs> i don't remember actually is it it is what is yeah application program interface so i'm right somehow <laughs> okay so this you are accessing some other application via the api so the simple example to understand is is if you are having your website and if you want to integrate the navigation system or a map system then you need to take the api from the google and you would you have to integrate into your website that's an example of accessing accessing some other application the second example is to access some sophisticated some some sophisti some sophisticated application such as uh, sales and inventory management or maybe your ERP software is right some sophisticated application you want to access you can access with the help of presentation tire like a company uh, a company database or some company portal the private portal or something like that okay this, these are the sophisticated application example now the next point is it says application the application which is used in the presentation tire the application can be used for b2b connections or business to business i say b2c that is business to consumer then i say b2e that is business to employ i will also write uh, m2m that is machine to machine connections okay there this presentation tire application can be worthful or can be useful okay so business to business business to consume consumer business to employ and machine to machine okay so these are some of the good points in presentation tire that you can write it down in your exam or wherever you want to okay so the next tire here is you can see in the diagram it says it is the middle tire you can see here this is the middle tire it is known as application tire this is the application tire it is having different parts like process management business task and other so i'll write here the application tire and let me just make an enter here yeah so it gives me a good space application tire i'll write this is my tire tire 2 okay so this is my tire 2 okay write it down so it says performs it performs business it performs business logic it performs business logic of processing user input so in user input obtaining data and make the decision what i mean to say is you can see in the diagram the presentation tire is taking your input so that input is is also you know our input for this middle tire so now as the input is coming so user input as it coming it obtains the data and then based on this data it is making the decision that is known as business logic task so you can see here it is having the business task which is based on the input and then obtain the data and then it based on this business logic it is giving you some decision okay so this is it now so this is it the next point it says it says performs it performs transcoding transcoding of data for appropriate oh it's in hard spelling yeah i think yeah for appropriate rendering in presentation tire okay so in the presentation tire what i mean what i mean to say is, is transcoding of data it means it's something like a user uh, you know there are two user and one user cannot understand the format in which the data is coming maybe let's say we have we have an english website and there is this russian website and i am pretty sure that a person who knows only english he cannot understand the russian language then i need some transcoding i mean it is definitely not a transcoding it is translation but transcoding is something like you are changing the format of one content to another content but just for the sake of an example you understand it the format 
the you the format which is used at the sender side it is completely different uh, based on the receiver as receiver cannot understand the format of you know sender we need some transcoding of data so that presentation tire can understand okay so the data that is coming should be somehow formatable so that presentation tire on the presentation tire the user is there can understand you know, you know the data uh, what kind of data it is so that's why you have transcoding okay then i can say it include it include the include it includes technology such as in, includes technology such as i'll write uh, the short versions like java jsp dotnet services uh, you can take the php uh, or coal fusion or anything that you understand right it's not important i mean you can take any technology which is I mean, in application layer i know so many languages so many frameworks come and exist you can take any one so this is the technology now it also having some more functionalities i will write here more functionalities functionalities yeah i don't know the spelling these are somehow very tidy okay so in more functionalities i would say it is used for rendering then it used for networking managements i hope you had seen those you know uh, networking management softwares uh, the first the, the good the good and the best one is the solar wind I think you have seen it so it's a networking management um, there are many others I mean there is there is something called as IDS and IPS all those things you know come and exist in networking management where we can see uh, and understand uh, how the network is flowing from one environment to the another environment okay then also we have securities that is I told you that we have some firewalls like the uh, like if you have a sonic wall or maybe we have a cyber rom or maybe zone alarm something like that okay so all those kinds of softwares we have in the application tire and it is also used for database or the data store like that data store access and it's etc etc et yeah like that <laughs> So rendering, networking, management software, security software, data store access, and many more. Now the, the very important point here, you know, all these functionalities where you where you are seeing this, it is completely based. Or if I write here, most of the functionalities. Uh, let me just copy this spelling. This is taking huge time here. <laughs> most of these functionalities are implemented using something called as middleware softwares. Now there we go this is middleware software now, what do you mean by middleware softwares you know here we had seen this this is this middleware is nothing but where is it yeah this middleware is nothing but this this is your application program interface or more precisely if i say your dll all these things all these you know kind of thing is your middleware software based on that you can you know you can you can have these softwares otherwise you cannot properly you know create your software or create your website you need some third party application to make a complete application right that's why you have middleware softwares now if i go to my paint application you you can draw this diagram here here i have this i have again a kind of a rectangle or a square you know i have a problem with these rectangles i never have these straight rectangles so here this is my operating system i will write here i will labeled that this is my operating system and then this is my user interface i basically use internet explorer so this is my user interface here this rectangle says it is the middleware you can draw this diagram so this complete section this complete section is you can see these are linked up so let me have a line which can connect these two things precisely and then connect these two things precisely so you can see in the operating system and in between the user interface we have middleware and based on this middleware based on this middleware let me again okay based on this middleware we creating our application so this is important because of this application uh, I mean sorry because of this middleware we can create our applications uh, in different languages or different framework 
okay so you can understand this is uh, for to create yeah i will write here to create application we use middle middleware software like such as api or dll that is dynamic link library okay i hope you understand it okay then get back to the thing these these are the thing and your middleware softwares now these middleware softwares middleware software functionalities again i'll copy it let, let me just copy this down middleware software functionalities what are the functionalities it says it works something like this it says it is used in message oriented message oriented middleware right for the messaging you know it is known as mom here i will write it is mom it is not that mom it is this mom message oriented middleware it is used in the sms or in the whatsapp services or for any you know the uh, the, the what do you call this yeah messaging services there you should use this message oriented uh, middleware okay and then we have a trans transaction transaction processing middleware then the service or the functionality is a database middleware which is used in the database so this is my database middleware also we can use it for communication middleware so these are some of the middleware that you can you know you can have an understanding on it and you can work around so this is important so each and every you know middleware it, it is using in some some application or in some software this is important okay so again uh, the last thing our last tire is our last tire is tire 3 and tire 3 is nothing but data tire you can see in this diagram here it says data tire so this is your data tire it, it is having data based management software which is nothing but your you know sql server or maybe oracle or maybe mysql or softwares like that so we have database management and the data store which can be a text file or like that okay so i will write data tire this is my tire this is my tire 3 and then the functionalities it possess it says used it is used to store data needed by the application right it is very important so your this application this application right in the diagram this application it needs one user i mean it needs some input from the user interaction and also it needs some data to give the response from the you know uh, from the from the database or whatever the request it is given so it is something like a user is requesting for www.facebook.com then the request is going to get into the server of facebook the 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 things or the resources it takes from the database here from the database and then it come back to the middle tire and it 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 makes a decision and then it again get back to the user interface and it gives you the response in the browser so something like that okay it needs some database here so here i i will write here it is used to store data needed by the application and act as a repository repository for for both temporary and permanent permanent data okay so i hope you understand it now there is one more thing that we need to write it down that this it stored it stored the data stored the data in any form it is more precisely in the in the form of relational relational database then again it is it can be stored in legacy hierarchical hierarchical uh, oh come on legacy hierarchical database spellings are come on these are pretty nasty things that's okay then again we have simple text files that you can write in some normal text file and then you can store in the database then in the last part we have xml format you can store your data uh, data thing in the xml format and that can be used in your a business logic of the application tire so we have three tires we had seen one is presentation tire one is application tire i'll see presentation tire and then application tire and then we have data tire so it is your mobile computing three tire architecture 
I hope you understand it. Thank you so much for listening me. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, I again insist you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for listening me. Oh, kahan lehra gaya ye?